just look. There's a New York moment. Right now, the seats. So we should have a full partition now. The coral seats. The breast goes out. Control, stopping your ride, your holder. So I don't have analog anymore. Okay, so we got this hill holder, so we ain't in like anymore. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's a, that's a microphone button. It sounds right, that's a microphone button. Chain <laughs> fair. These we look like. Hmm. And that's supposed to be for check your credit cards and stuff. Oh, oh shit. That's actually sick. I've ever seen an engine bay. <laughs> oh, this is a base system. So it's a base system. I think 2501 was right here before it just went out for the test run. And before, right. is a depot drive switch. Right. 
So you can flip that up, mm -hmm. and if you flip it once, it goes into EV mode. Right. Diesel engine doesn't operate. Okay. Uh, now, it will operate. We don't want them going in EV mode on the street. Mm -hmm. It's called a depot switch, so you can use it in the, in the yard. Yes. We can geofence the bus mm -hmm. as soon as Daryl and his, they, it, it costs money to geofence the trans, the drive unit. Right. But let's say you're on a, you're on a route in the block where you go past the mayor's house. Uh-huh. And you want to keep it silent. And the mayor bitches about the diesel buses. Right. When you get in there, mm -hmm. you can flip this. Okay. Go into electric mode, flip it again. Because it's a momentary switch, it's just flip it, flip right. it, and then it'll come back to diesel. Okay. So how long does it uh, run on a electric mode before it? Until you flip it again. Until I flip it again. Okay. If you're driving through the tunnels, right, you can flip it, go through the tunnel, flip it again when you're on the outside, go back to diesel hybrid. Oh. Okay. When you come to a stop, uh huh, engine shuts off. Right. Like a lot of your new cars do. Yeah. And the interlock comes on. Okay. So as soon as you touch the Accelerator again, the engine shire, fires up, and you take off. Okay. Okay. Now, eventually, if planning and development decides to do it, mm -hmm. they could say, this line, this block and this line, mm -hmm. we want to run all electric. Okay. So when the bus gets to that first stop in the geofence, mm -hmm. the engine will shut down. Mm -hmm. And it'll stay in electric mode oh. the entire time. Unless the batteries go down, uh, and is. then the engine kicks in to charge them back up. All right, I got you. I so got that's you. the big difference. Okay. So will you will you say it would probably be will you rather stay with you know stay as far as like how it is now without them? Yeah. So like, but just in case if they come around with the idea that, you know, let's just say like we was going for like Woodbury or something if like they're that. They're going to do that. Then they'll come through and do all the training for you. Oh, I got you. All right. So, that makes sense. <laughs> if you look like you sound like you know a little bit about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, like I said, I've been a little bit curious. I mean, you know, because I've been trying to figure out, like, which ones how, you know, which ones how they're supposed to be set up. I didn't know if it was supposed to be having a uh, you know, smaller engine, like a 6.7 liter or 8 point. You know, just. Seven, just the 7s come out. Yeah. Um, we're also, um, we'll have two gillets here the first of the new year. Right. Yeah, the hybrid and all electric ones. All right. Well, we're not doing all electric. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not. Oh. The all electrics this year are twenty forty footers. Okay. All going to Kirk. Right. Next year it's ten sixty footers. Right. And that's it. And that's all coming from New Flyer, right? Yes. Okay. All the Gillicks will either be hybrid or clean diesel. Okay, I got you. That makes sense. <laughs> we want to now. The driver's barrier on this is different too. Uh huh. It's all the way up. Right. And we are piloting very soon an entire enclosure. Right, full partition. Right. Yeah, it will come more straight. Mm -hmm. And it comes it comes down here and then it cuts out across this and then it comes all the way to the windshield. Okay. Like a metro train. Right. Fully enclosed. Okay. All the way to the roof, all the way to the floor. Cool. I like that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put two on. Okay. As a pilot. Oh. Yeah, so I, yeah, because I've been a little bit curious about just you know how how everything is going to be set up and how it's going to be a little bit different. And I, I know like the fair boss, like still trying to get familiar with the fair boss a little bit. So. Well, that's the gen fair. The gen fair box. Okay. Yeah. So I know when I put my hand in front of it, it just light it up on me. So. Yeah, Bush Street starts their switch over to gen fair. But to the, this is a, what they call a fast fare. Okay. What's in the buses now is an Odyssey. Right. In mid January, they're doing north, north, northwest, northwest now. Okay. Taking the Odysseys out, putting the fast fares in. Uh huh. These communicate via Wi-Fi with Treasury all okay. the time. They know how much money's on the bus, mm. and when it vaults, it mm. knows how much money went to the vault. It upfeeds all that stuff electronically. Mm. They'll know if the driver's running around and not collecting any fares. Right, yeah. <laughs> Bush Street gets switched over beginning mid January. Okay. Yeah. So they'll be, but this is a new bus. They wanted it on there anyhow. Okay. It's like, 
we're going with 6.7 liter um, B, B series. The engine bay, so everything as far as like the electrical units or like the AC, the um, so basically what what whatever whatever else that was usually in this engine bay that kind of made it look, look the a little air compressor for the brakes and doors. Yeah, on the roof. On the roof. Okay. It's electric. Okay. The power steering is electric. Okay. So on this, <laughs> but I do it. Yeah. <laughs> 